This is, in other words, the conventional bodybuilding approach, and it does not work for most drug-free people with normal genetics. You could be doing the newest and greatest science-based workout, hitting 10 to 20 sets per muscle group, but if you're not getting stronger, then your physique is not improving. What's going on, guys? It's Rio from Polarity Fitness, and today we're gonna be talking about the three keys to building a great physique without living in the gym. And despite what the fitness industry tells you, despite what bodybuilding culture tries to tell you, your life does not need to revolve around the gym in order for you to build the physique that you want. In fact, proper training for a drug-free person with normal genetics and a life outside of the gym actually requires less time spent training. To achieve the fastest muscle growth as a drug-free trainee, you need to string together progressive workouts over a long period of time. And what I mean by this is that every week or every other week, you need to be making small bits of progress, whether that's adding a rep or whether that's adding a little bit of weight. To achieve this consistent progress, you have to recover between every single workout. Judging by how much time people spend in the gym, you would think that that's where all the magic happens, right? wrong. You grow muscle and strength outside of the gym when you are resting and recovering. The goal of training is to stimulate, not annihilate. You want to do enough work to stimulate muscle and strength gains, but then no more. And when you're doing things properly, you only need a small quantity of training in order to stimulate lots of muscle growth. This is where bodybuilding routines go wrong. They leave you feeling exhausted after every single workout. And the truth is that normal drug-free people can't recover and grow stronger with these methods. And as drug-free people, we need to focus on getting stronger. That's the bottom line. I'm going to cover three core tenets of the polarity fitness training approach that will allow you to build your dream physique without living in the gym. These principles are not only for spending less time in the gym. These are real drug-free training principles for normal people with normal genetics. The two go hand in hand, so don't think you're sacrificing your gains by wanting to spend less time in the gym. It is a requisite for drug-free training success, and even if they didn't go hand in hand, I would still train this way because I have no interest in being a gym rat, and I don't care to spend hours hours and hours in the gym every week. One of the core missions of Polarity Fitness is to teach a practical and balanced approach to fitness. We're about helping you reach your physique potential while having a well-rounded lifestyle and without living in the gym and sacrificing the things you love most in life. Now let's get started. The first key to building a great physique without living in the gym is to focus on big basic compound exercises that work a lot of muscle in the body. You wanna focus on exercises that give you the biggest bang for your buck. I'm talking exercises like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, overhead presses, weighted chin-ups, weighted pull-ups, rows and dips. These exercises will cover your entire body's musculature for a very small time investment. If you were to put a heavy focus on isolation exercises like they do in the bodybuilding world, you'd have to spend hours and hours in the gym every week to cover the same amount of muscle. If we look at exercises like squats and deadlifts, two hard sets will create an enormous growth stimulus throughout the entire body. And this is very efficient training. And let's not forget that the body grows as a whole when you're a drug-free person. You can't treat your body as if it's a Lego action figure. There is no use in attempting to build your physique by isolating each muscle group. And while isolation exercises are important, they are the icing on top of the cake. And while you may disagree, there is literally no shortage of skinny guys chipping away at bicep curls all day long. So all you have to do is look around your gym. You have to focus on big basic movements that overload and force your entire body to work as one whole unit to build muscle. No matter how much biceps work you do, if your body is small, then you won't get big biceps and you won't bring up any small muscle group to a large extent. Even if you were to increase your curl weights by 50%, it would have a very minor impact on your physique development. But imagine the impact on your physique if you were to increase all your big basic movements by 50% for reps. You'd gain a lot of muscle throughout your entire body. Imagine if there was the same interest in big basic movements and squats and deadlifts as there are in biceps training. There'd be no lack of results. Everyone would have incredibly well-developed physiques. The next step is to train with a high level of intensity. In other words, make every set count in the gym and take every set close to failure. You can train long or you can train hard, but you cannot do both. Training intensity can replace volume to a large extent. The harder you train, the less training you need to stimulate lots of muscle and strength gains. There are basically two methodologies in the training world. There's high volume, low intensity training, and then there's low volume, high intensity training. You'll notice that there's no low volume, low intensity training, and there's no high volume, high intensity training. This is because when you're drug free, there's a trade off that you have to make when it comes to volume versus intensity. When you're doing a low volume of training, you have to make up for it by bringing higher levels of intensity to your training. In other words, you have to put more effort into the reduced amount of training that you're doing. This is where the polarity fitness training approach sits. When you use a high volume approach, you have to lower your training intensity. You can't train as hard because you have more exercises and more sets to get through. This means that you have to dilute your effort in order to 
get through it all. And what often happens is that you just end up going through the motions in all of your training and not doing justice to any exercise or any set. This is in other words, the conventional bodybuilding approach, and it does not work for most drug-free people with normal genetics. This style of training is very fatiguing and can easily cause overtraining. And it also prevents you from being able to train hard enough to stimulate muscle and strength gains. The better approach to take when you're drug-free is to focus on effort over quantity or intensity over volume. When you do less, you have better recovery and it becomes very easy to gain strength. And you can put more effort into your training and stimulate more muscle and strength gains because your focus is not diluted and you can do justice to every exercise and every set that you do. Best of all, you can spend less time in the gym. And remember, less is more for a drug-free trainee. Effective training is about quality, not quantity. You only need a low volume of quality training in order to stimulate lots of muscle growth. The high volume approach, on the other hand, will just lead to overtraining for most drug-free people. Everyone would literally 10x their gains if they cut their training volume in half, doubled the rest days between workouts, and got serious about delivering real effort in a reduced amount of training time. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, then I'd recommend picking up my free 13-point drug-free muscle building checklist. So this is a free checklist that has the 13 fundamental principles of drug-free physique building that you literally cannot build muscle without. So I recommend taking a second, going into the description box and picking up this free checklist and I'll send it over to you right away. So let's get back to the video. The foundation of your muscle and strength gains will come from mastering a handful of mainstay compound exercises. These exercises must work well for you. You must be able to train them intensely. They must cover the majority of your musculature and you must devote yourself to getting as strong as you possibly can at them over time and in good form. Building a great drug-free body is almost laughably simple, but simple does not mean easy. All that really matters at the end of the day is progressive overload in good form. Many people have been training for years, yet they still cannot squat their own body weights for five reps, yet they focus on anything and everything but progressive overload on basic exercises. If you're bench pressing 150 pounds for six reps right now, and in a year's time, you're still bench pressing 150 for six, you have not gotten bigger despite all of the time you're spending in the gym. We all know guys who live in the gym and train five to seven days per week. They lift the same weights month after month. They look the exact same and sooner or later they throw in the towel. You could be doing the newest and greatest science-based workout hitting 10 to 20 sets per muscle group. You could be doing five different angles for every muscle group. You could be doing five exercises for every muscle group. But if you're not getting stronger, then your physique is not improving. Those who disagree that progressive overload is the most important training consideration are the same people who will forever spin their wheels and never get around to building any appreciable muscle and strength. These people focus on theory, optimization, and minor details, and literally anything and everything but the simple importance of moving big weights in good form. The focus when you're drug-free needs to be on getting strong to get big. And while the biggest muscles are not always the strongest muscles and the strongest muscles are not always the biggest muscles, for a great majority of drug-free trainees with normal genetics, there's a very strong relationship between muscular size and strength. If you keep all factors constant, then the stronger you get on the basic exercises, the more developed your physique will be. And once you start focusing on achieving these consistent strength gains, it will quickly become evident to you that you cannot both spend lots of time in the gym and achieve these consistent strength gains. Progressive overload in good form using short and infrequent workout routines dominated by the big basic compound exercises. Hold on to this and never let it go because it is the bottom line of training success for drug-free people with normal genetics who don't care to live their lives in the gym.